Hey everyone. Uh, welcome back to Minecraft. Been a little while. Oh, my cat's going feral. Um, so yeah, took a little break in recording after the nightmare. But uh, now I've got some more stuff. So I've got an Elytra. Elytra. I've got some enchanted things. I built this. It's a simple water elevator. I've built a few before, but this one's different. Because it goes nowhere. It merely provides me with a high place to launch myself from. Now I could use fireworks to make myself go further. However, I'm going to light this place up first. Since I meant to when I built it, but I ran out of glass. But anyway, in this environment, I can actually use my Riptide Trident. And throw myself much further than I ever could. As long as it's raining. Oh! That fire was still burning from like 14 episodes ago. So what I'm doing now is... I've got a... Oh right, can't, uh, can't do that, huh? I've got an elytra. I've got a few firework rockets here and there. Meow, 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 he says. And I've got my riptide trident. Which should permit me the ability to search for things much further than I usually would. Oh. There we go. Using the boost to get through the snow is uh, certainly fortuitous. Riptide tridents work in the rain, and they also work... Oh, I think I may have found where I was looking for. They also work uh, while the player is submerged in water. And they can get you a very, very far distance. So as I mentioned, I'm searching for my original path that I took back in episode four or so. Oh. What happened to that tree? Because um, there were a few beehives there and I forgot that they were there and then I got a silk touch pickaxe and I didn't go back and get them. Um, and I'm naturally in need of some fresh bees. The bees by my home have stopped coming out of their little beehive. And I'm not sure if it's because they're all dead or something else has happened to them. I certainly hope they're okay. This isn't the beehive I was looking for, but it certainly is one. And it's as well safe to... I just did some villager trading. That's why my inventory's full. Bee nest. <laughs> Yes, I believe this is a flowery field biome. Here we go. These are the two beehives I saw. Oh, please return home, Mrs. Bee. There you go. So touch that up. And that. And I suppose these wouldn't stack then. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's all right. Then I've gotten... Uh, Got to commit a criminal sin here and dig dirt with a pickaxe because I have need of it. Oh my god, I'm going in unloaded chunks. Jeez. It's really dangerous to die out here. I would have to go back to my recording and figure out where the hell I was. What on earth is this? I didn't build this. What is this place?
That's a real block of gold. This is... This is crying obsidian. My chest. I... I'm so confused. I didn't even know you could get Crying Obsidian in this version of the game. I thought it was only in, like, the Pocket Edition. I remember reading about it on the wiki years ago. Uh, it's not even bad stuff, either. It looks really cool. How do I get more? God, I'm so confused. It's like the nether fell into the earth. Like, this looks like a broken portal. And that's probably what it is. So can this just happen now? There's iron bars here to maybe represent that people were here, but I don't quite know what I'm looking at, frankly. Oh! Well, anyway, that's what I was doing with this episode. Uh, now I've got to walk an ungodly distance to get my stuff back without the things that makes getting my stuff easy. I really am stupid. Anyway, Minecraft's back. Hip hip hooray. Yay. Blah. I really am such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, how long have I been recording? Six minutes. Oh my god, I gotta keep recording. Alright, I'll see you guys back in a second. Hey, so I came back to record because uh, I'm so mad because uh, the rain just ended, so now I can't get back home easy either. Uh, I did want to mention that there's a horse with a beautiful coat over here, though, which is pretty nice. So, hey, horse. I actually have a horse that is uh, now currently permanently trapped in hell because I got him stuck down a ladder that I can't get him back up. Uh, so... Yeah, that horse is just my hell horse now. Or the nether, if you prefer. Oh, a torch. Maybe I'm getting closer. Um, I actually just came back through the recording. My time of death. Uh, isn't this always just the quintessential gubs you see in someone's inventory after a death when they're on a corpse run? Dark Souls who? A lot of wolves out here. I don't see any wolves back home, but I guess it's because I don't have live in a forest biome. Honestly, so much of my world was devoted to me creating nice. That's another horse with a good-looking coat. I should get. I should get some of them. Get a lot of horse armor back at the back at the back at the ranch, as well as ooh, a bunch of horse. Of course, my inventory was just loaded with gubs. It would be great if I had a trident and wings. It's my own stupid fault. I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. But this is the gravel biome, so I'm getting close. I like that biomes can now intersect. So you have, like, snow and forest. Or gravel and, like, snow. I guess there weren't much better examples. Am I going the right way? Let me check. It was at positive 200. Or near positive 200. Great, so I'm only about 500 blocks total away from my destination. You know, I've spent so much time over the past 20 or so episodes just devoting myself to... Oh, piss, I'm such an idiot. Oh, I'm so stupid. I devoted a great deal of my world and world building in the sense of, you know... so mad I can't even speak right. I devoted a lot of the time uh, in crafting this world to making it so it's very easily accessible up and down. There's not a lot of cliffs. There's not a lot of things to fall off of. And now that I'm brought back to being a normal human... Without my Elytra or anything else that would make this game easier to play... It's staggering. 
Because normally, when traversing difficult terrain, I have access to tools that make it much simpler. And now, I carry around six or so blocks of dirt. Right. Of all the boneheaded things to do. I think this is the mushroom I saw, so I'm getting closer to be sure. Yep, a lot of mush. I'm glad... You know, I just hit the jump button and it didn't happen. I don't know who's to blame for that, so... Let's go with Tipper Gore. I feel like she hasn't been knocked down enough pegs recently. Unless she's dead, in which case she's been knocked down the final peg. So yeah, Tipper Gore's fault. I'm still so far. All I wanted was some beehives. I just wanted to rescue the bees from their, you know, harsh, rainy world out there and bring them back to the, the, the enclosure that I've made for them. It's warm. It's nice. Or alternatively, it's just temperate and has no set temperature. They'll love it there. Crap. 120 positive. I'm too far north. But I was here ish. Reach. Oh, I think I see it. Gone too far. It's like 60 blocks that way, I think. I spot gubs on the horizon. Absolute wiener. All right, let's organize this stupid inventory. Get that the heck out of here. I need that. So for those who don't know, you can also uh, stimulate your flight with fireworks rockets, which are very simple, and I have a lot of the components required to make them. Not as good as a uh, riptide tried in the rain, but if you are. I've enchanted my Elytra, as you may or may not have noticed, which allow me to uh, fly a little further with it. I would love to get mending on it, but mending is a very rare enchantment. At least now I can see pretty easy. Hey, it's this village. I love this place. I love these guys. Huh? What's the word? Nothing. You know, 
I tried to help this village. I'm not saying that it was like a bad idea to do so or anything, but I spent some valuable time of my life trying to make sure this village would be able to grow and learn and live and stuff. It doesn't look as though uh, it's worked. Oh yeah, don't I have Aqua Affinity on my helmet here? That ought to help. Well, I'm home. in the armor chest. Get that. Hmm. I suppose these will go in the treasures. Actually, I can organize this off camera. Actually, no, this is a good enough stop for the episode. I will see you guys in the next episode um, when my master plan involving these lovelies gets underway. Um, thanks for coming by. Hope you have a nice day.